<sighs> What's up, everybody? How the heck are you? I'm Taylor. I do sometimes comic book mystery boxes, although that might be slowing down a little because I'm freaking exhausted. And uh, I talk comics. I talk to you all. I drink whiskey occasionally, although that might be slowing down a little because I'm freaking exhausted. And uh, yeah, that's about it. All right, let's see who we got here. Las Cruces, hello from Wisconsin. It's just like New Mexico, apparently. Uh, Bandit Buzz, good seeing you. Gary B., how are you? Thanks for stopping in. Uh, and Gary, no, this is probably last month's. I'm just really behind on my stuff. I can't do like 15 videos a day like some people. <clears throat> Joe M., nice seeing you as well. Thanks for stopping in. Uh, slot it up. Thank Howdy. Howdy. I appreciate that. I like that word. Uh, Jimmy Waz, good seeing you. Um, I have not, I've watched the original Hocus Pocus. God, is it horrible. We might have to talk about how bad that movie is. But they're doing a remake thing on HBO Max. So there is that. Chubby, it is not really a mystery box. There might be one or two things in here that I don't know. And since I'm way behind on this, you all probably already know exactly what's in here. So sorry. It's going to be a very boring night. Uh, what else we got? Uh, I think that's everybody. Marcel, uh, yeah, go to bed if you haven't already. But uh, thank you for stopping in. I appreciate it. And James. 29 minutes. I, I started 30 seconds early just to throw you off. What's up, Jamie? How are you? Rick, Don, Slim, Pat, yeah, man. Whew. All right. I think that's everyone. Um, so, yeah, for those of you that don't know, this is the Comic Tom Mystery Mail Call Mystery Box, which really rolls off the tongue. I think of a shorter name, Tom. Just call it the Tom Box or Tom Foolery or something. Anyways, you can hire me for your marketing. It's, it's fine. Um, yeah, I do like the box, though. It's just a custom-printed Gemini mailer, which is which I appreciate. And uh, you get, what, six or five or six? Or, I don't know. I guess, like, well, we can count together. Books for, what, 35 bucks plus shipping, uh, so, like, $42. They have their own exclusive cover. There's probably a print in here. Um, and then you have a chance at, like, some fairly rare exclusives. Uh, and, yeah, they're, I think they're getting better-ish every month. I don't know. I, these are one of the ones where I'm like kind of teetering on the edge of canceling a lot of the months. I don't know. I just got to cut down on the spending. What's up, Tapias? How are you doing? Uh, and so, yeah, like, I like these guys, and I wanted to stick with this this month because I'm pretty darn sure there's a Thor book in here that I like that I'm that other folks might not, but eh, it's each their own, right? So, all right, let's just dive on in. I don't know what the order of these are in. Um, here is the low print exclusives, and it sort of tells you what your chances are in here. So I am I know I'm getting the Thor and probably one of the Turtles covers and of the Prince. So it's not that much of a mystery box. Well, that's all right. Speaking of which, yeah, there's the one I wanted. I wanted this Thor cover. I know it's not for everybody. I know some people actually hate it, but I kind of dig it because it's different. And, uh, you know, it's not peach. It's kind of peachish, maybe. Who, who's the artist that did this? I don't care. Never mind. <laughs> And there's some Claire. He's, all right. And there's, okay. This is my first video, obviously. So bear with me. Uh, what else we got? Okay. This is a filler book, but whatever. Earth X number 11. I, yeah. No. Yeah. I don't know. They can't all be winners. Oh, this one I do like, though, because uh, I'm trying to rebuild my Sandman run. And I don't have this one. So Sandman 49. So, not bad. It's probably a filler for everybody else, but for me, I'll take it. So, uh, yeah, I know my lead. If I didn't say hi to you, hi, sorry. I, uh, yeah. Okay. Um, this is a Comics Dungeon exclusive, I believe, and probably still a filler, but that's okay. <laughs> uh, I don't know. It's a rebooted Ninjak. There's probably nothing really significant about it. I kind of dig the cover. I like the simpler covers. That's just me. Um, character design by Tomas Girello, if I'm saying that correctly. And I believe, yeah, Crystal Gage is a writer. So, I don't know. It might be worth reading. Um, what else do we have here? Oh, Bendis book. I know you all love Bendis. He's not at all controversial. So, yeah. Ultimate Spider-Man 5. You never know with Bendis, though. Like, he, much as everyone, he seems to dish on him. His characters turned out to be worth some cash down the line, and everyone starts rushing to collect uh, the, his books, and yeah, then people make money. So uh, there's the print for this month. I kind of dig it. Uh, it's a 
Popor, Popor, I don't know, whatever. 74 to 2000. So <laughs> the thing is, the low print numbers don't mean a whole lot. I mean, I know they sort of, some people collect them, but this is digitally printed. You can tell the numbers are all the same and stuff. I don't believe it's actually signed. No, it's not. That's a digital signature too. So basically, I think they just have a, a program set up where they just up and plus it up and by one and put the page count on there and keep printing it. So it's not bad. Uh, I'm not complaining. And then, yeah, I, I got the color variant to the turtles. So I was hoping for the black and white just because it's a little more rare, I believe. This is a – apparently this is an homage to X-Men 173, but it's a pretty – Kind of loose homage to the one where Wolverine's running at the cover, if you remember that one. Uh, this is John Boy Meyer, and this is one of 1750. The black and white was one of 700, so that's kind of why I wanted that one. But not bad boxes. I don't, like, I don't know how many he sells. I know it's a boatload, and it might be up to, like, so, <laughs> who knows? If he sells 1,750 boxes, more power to him. Um, but, yeah, you know, you get, like, one in five or there's like five good books a month, like grand prize ish ish ish. But you can usually make your money back if you if you turn around and flip. I'm like, I can probably flip that floor. Yeah, Gary B. I'm sure you, that's that's nice. I'm happy for you. Um, you know, yeah. So you could and, and like you know, I'm not I, I'm not complaining. I'm sticking around at least one more month. Well, I'm sure I already paid for it because you end up paying right away for the next month. And I'm, the next one's shipping in like a week or two because I'm behind. And I'm pretty sure the there's a Dune number one in there, and I, I like Dune. And it's a Ben Temple Smith cover, and I usually like this stuff. So, you know, we'll see. Um, yeah, like I said, it's a pretty slow night tonight. If you want some entertainment, you should go read some comments on my Heat Seeker video. They, they, the owner, I believe, and or only only employee or somebody in the company found me, and they love me. <sighs> there might be a follow up video. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> I'm not sure what drama I really feel like bringing in, and I don't want to be the Yelp of the of the internet or as far as well, there's already Yelp on the internet. That's where the Yelp exists. Words are hard people, but I don't want to be the Yelp of uh, mystery boxes. How about that? And I don't want to be the guy that bitches about other companies, but yeah, this guy, this person's a treat and he's called me a liar a few times. So we'll see. I might follow up. I don't know. Um, <laughs> I just might let it go too. Yeah, although I it sort of depends on if, 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 if they let it go, I guess if they let it go up, I let it go. I don't, but yeah, you can. Yeah, so <laughs> it's not that bad. It's just, it's just, you know, there's just a couple comments on there that that they made. So, Brian, good swing seeing you. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for stopping in. Um, I like I said, I'm probably slowing down a little on mystery boxes. Although I have like 40 that Spider-Man booth ones to open. Not not really. Probably about 10. Uh, those don't always make for the most interesting content, though. So I'm gonna probably just open a bunch of them on some live some night again. Um. And then I know – what do I have? I have a Michael Acri one. I finally got one of his coming. Um, and, and, yeah, there's a few others, but, you know, you just get burnt out on them. <laughs> there's only so many you can do before they all start to look the same and you start to start to see all the same Venoms and the, the same Thors and the same comics and everyone. <laughs> and it's just kind of – your eyes start to swim. And if you don't hit a grand prize, you're just like, well, okay, that's my 14th copy of Thor 6. What am I going to do with that? So – <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> um, yeah, I still bitch about Pedo. Oh, sh shut up, phone. Anyways. Ah, Jesus. Sorry. Phone. Wouldn't. Yeah, my phone's upstairs, but it rings on my laptop. And yeah, Little Torpedo does have a charity box that just they announced today. And some little part of me is tempted. Money does go to charity. And they're giving away good books. But I don't think I'm going to do it. I'd, I'd rather just give money to charity than throw it at Torpedo, to be honest. So, like, they, they, they say they're giving money to charity. But I don't know how much. Um, they say 100% of the profits, whatever the heck that means. Which means, like, they're going to deduct all the retail costs of the books, I'm sure, and the retail costs of the shipping, and the retail cost of their stupidly designed boxes. And, uh, you know, so charity's probably going to get very little of, 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 of uh, the proceeds. I could be wrong. I hope I'm wrong. But I, I got a feeling that's how they're doing it, you know, because they can deduct all the costs of the books and like not, not just the cost, the, the, what they would charge on the books, I think. So, yeah, <laughs> it's, uh, hey, yeah, maybe I'm turning into the Yelp of mystery boxes. I got to stop uh, or start drinking. I don't know. Probably not. Not tonight, though. I got I got to work on some paintings tonight. I got a friend of uh, friends are getting married on Saturday and we're doing an outdoor little wedding and I got to paint them a painting. It sort of started in the background there. 
I don't think they're going to watch this vid, thankfully. So it'll, it'll still be a surprise. But I got to turn. It looks kind of decent from back here, but you get it up close and it's a sloppy mess. So I got to finish that and turn it into something. And uh, yeah, that's kind of about it. Um, a charity for Armenia. Yeah. And, you know, it's a good cause. And I, I like, I have nothing against the cause. It's just I don't care for the company. <laughs> and, you know, there's a few companies I don't care for. It is what it is. I, I try really, I really don't try to be just the crankiest asshole on the internet. And I really try to like, <laughs> like companies and like mystery boxes and, you know, try and go into them all with a positive attitude. It's just, you get tired of them after a while. <laughs> so, like, I'm going to, you know, and like, I'm probably going to drop down to four videos a week. Uh, so, possibly don't expect one tomorrow. I'm going to do my, either my comic review tomorrow or on Thursday, depending on how much time I have. And then I'll do another opening on Friday. But like, I, five days a week is a little much right now. So, um, I'd like to do auctions. I don't know if Chubby's back up for it. We can always get one going again. Uh, you should go watch his video where he eats the world's hottest uh, chip. It's funny. <laughs> and it's painful. <laughs> what is the one chip challenge? It's something. He asked if I wanted to do it. And, you know, I, I respect my butthole too much for that one. So, yeah. <laughs> it's, uh, <laughs> but it, it's like three rather large bearded gentlemen eating like very hot tortilla chips. And, uh, Hilarity ensues. So I, I recommend it. <laughs> it's it's quality YouTubes. Um, yeah. And charity. Yes, charity. Top. Yeah, I, I will donate to good causes and stuff. And I'm not going to comment on where. who. I'm not going to tell anybody where charity should go or what, what people should do for charitable organizations or anything like that. But, like, yeah, yeah, man does good boxes as well. Um, Slotted Up. Like he had, I, yeah, you should go watch Slotted Up. He did a he did a big old big boy box at $350. Uh, yeah, man, box, which is pretty cool. Hey, Julie, good seeing you. Um, <laughs> I I already opened it. I'll go through it on a reminder. And this nothing surprising on this one. This was like a little bit older, older box. Uh, so like I have a new one coming. But this is um, this is what I, I got the color version of the John Boy Meyer Turtles. I've got Ultimate Spider Man Five from Bendis. Uh, yeah. I got Ninjak 1, uh, the Comics Dungeon variant. I picked up Sandman. This one, I this is probably my favorite of the box, just because I'm trying to rebuild this. Uh, Earth X 11. I don't know. And the Thor is probably the number two of the box. So uh, if you haven't read, Thor is an entertaining read, at least. And... Uh, yeah, yeah, that does very good, does great boxes, but I, I think he said he's taking a break from them too. So I think he's exhausted making them. I don't know. He might be in here. He, he sometimes stops in. I can't remember if he's in here or not. So yeah, I, uh, yeah, I, I mean, I'm going to stick with the comic Tom. They're one of the ones I always forget to cancel too. Not that I probably will. I, like I said, I want the Dune one that's coming, but, um, it's, they're sort of month to month for me. I, I honestly, Box Heroes is pretty decent, and I think I have one. I'm behind on them, too. I'm, I'm at least a month behind. So I have another one of those to open. I think I have one coming this week. I've got a comic vantage to open. What else? I don't know. Some mystery mail call stuff. Uh, give the Sandman movie on Hulu. To, is, is there a Sandman movie out already? Like um, a Neil Gaiman one? Or is this a older one you're talking about, Tapia's? I'm not sure. I don't. I didn't think. I thought, net, I thought Sandman was going to be a Netflix series. It could be. I don't know. I don't. I tried to follow up on all the comic book news and speculation, but there's so so darn much of it. So, <laughs> it's like, and there's channels dedicated to it. So you can go find those. And then there's channels dedicated to CGC and boxings and unboxings. There's channels for everybody. You know, uh, you want a guy that just kind of rambles and chats and bitches a bit? It's on the channel for you. Um, you know, well, the yeah, Julie, the, you can sort of be hit or miss with the comic Tom, but like you pretty much know half the box before you get it. You know you're getting their cover and you know you're getting a print oh yeah i forgot to show you that too and then you know you're getting one or two versions of like whatever their exclusive is so that's about half the box and then you get four other throw-ins so um no not drinking tonight pat i gotta i got too much crap to get done after this so <laughs> i gotta i would love to but it is a tuesday and while i sometimes do paint after having whiskey it's more likely i would just watch netflix i gotta finish watching Season two of, uh, what am I watching right now? What the heck am I watching? Oh, The Umbrella Academy. Not as good as season one, but I just still want to finish it. So, yeah. Uh, that's kind of all I got tonight, I think. Um, yeah, we'll see. Uh, 
Yeah, that'll be it. That'll, that'll about do it. Thanks for stopping in, everybody. I really do appreciate it. Um, if somebody calls you a liar in chat, try not to be a dick. That's fun. <laughs> the best I can give you for this evening. <laughs> Don't be a dick. Oh, and yeah, you can buy these shirts if you want them. TaylorWinner.com. Got a couple of varieties on there. Could be working on a few more. Other shirts that just don't just say don't be a dick, although, you know, that is kind of my one commandment in life. So, see you later, Pat. See you, Tapia's uh, 2017 film. Okay. Uh, see you, Jamie. Gotcha. Um, yeah, I don't have the Hulu right now. So, everybody, have a good night. Try not to be a dick. I mean, you, you know, sometimes you have to be a little bit of a dick. So, all right. See ya.